not about history. This is about who the city chooses to honor in the heart of our city. This is not a symbol of hate. Now at six, split over a statue. A debate is raging after renewed calls to remove the likeness of former mayor and police commissioner Frank Rizzo. And tonight, we're hearing both sides of the argument. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Nicole Brewer, in for Jessica Dean. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is live in Center City at the site of the statue. And Greg, what are people saying tonight? Well, as you can imagine there, Nicole, Philadelphians are on both sides of this issue right now. Uh, you're going to hear from them in just a moment, but I really want to paint you the picture here of what's going on. That is the statue, of course, here at the Municipal Services Building. Now it is surrounded by two levels of barricades, plenty of Philadelphia police, and that is because there's a march, a rally, which is expected to end here at this statue, the statue which has become so very controversial over the past two days. The larger-than-life statue of Philadelphia's first Italian mayor, Frank Rizzo, has kept watch over the city's municipal building since 1998. Now there are calls to remove it forever. This is not about history. This is about who the city chooses to honor in the heart of our city. Monday, Councilwoman Helen Gim tweeting off a controversy, pushing to remove the statue, saying she's troubled by allegations African Americans were routinely targeted and brutalized during Rizzo's tenure from the late 60s to 1980. Since then, Philly police have set up a barrier around the statue. Wednesday, a Jersey man egged it and was arrested. And hours later, the Office of Emergency Management set up a mobile surveillance system beside it. All the while, Philadelphians split over whether the former mayor's statue should go. I think anything that symbolizes racism, take it down. It's real simple. Sort of like a guy that had to take care of business. At that time, in that era, in Pennsylvania and in Philadelphia, oh, we needed that. We needed that. So I like the statue. So does Mark Ferguson, who grew up with the Rizzo family. He started a change.org petition to gather support against efforts to take the statue down. It's about principle. It's there's so much going on in this country right now. There's so many divided relations. This is not a symbol of hate. And back here live, you're taking a look at some of this mobile surveillance, the security that is now surrounding this statue here. As for that change.org petition, we just checked about five minutes ago or so. More than 13,000 people have signed it in favor of keeping this statue here. That's the latest live here from Center City. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Greg.